I think it's going to be very good. I, I think a lot of this side of the bracket, um, I'm kind of curious to see how it will play out. Um, and, you know, Amrak versus RK should be a good set. We're about to find out. Sheik versus Fox. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Fox is Amrak, though, I believe. So, okay, yeah. So, already started, you know, clean 52%, and the punish has not stopped. Oh my god, that killed. I'm sorry, I, I don't have to leave right now. All right, it looks like... Uh, Zoo is having a bit of technical issues, so just to keep it going, we do have a tech chase situation going on from RK, but um, Amrak manages to squeeze himself out of that. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, sorry. And uh, we do see, uh, once again, RK getting an opening, but yeah, let's close up the back there uh, for the edge guard. Zoo, can you hear me now? Yes, uh, turns out it was not a technical issue. I am just an idiot. Uh, moving on. <laughs> All right, but you know who is not an idiot is uh, Amrak, already with a clean 107% lead and oh, beautiful onto tech, but even ready for it ahead of time. And close up the stock. That was a very, very, very clean stock. Yeah, that was uh, that was Amrak, or excuse me, RK being like three steps ahead, even though uh, Amrak got a lot of good stuff there. Um, Fountain of Dreams, game one, is that typical for Sheik Fox? Yeah, kind of it is a strange pick. So so I do believe that Amrak is the Fox, right? And not, and, yes. Okay. Oh, just, interesting. Yeah, yeah so uh, Amrak already kind of off to a Pretty good start. Nice uh, clean edge guard as well. Oh, that's uh, two nice. solid stocks. This is pretty pretty sizable lead. Which so I knew RK is like a box player. Did I did as well. Yeah, that's it's why I think a... it's a bit confusing. But uh, Chief, interesting. Okay, huh? I didn't know that. Either way, this yeah, is the yeah. grab he really needs. He doesn't get much from it. Man, I wonder. I wonder if that's like a matchup specific thing, or if this is like a uh, complete main shift. Because I, I definitely know that you know some people, especially being Slippy and whatever, have like played around with different characters and like tried different things. And oh my god, that was so that clean. was crazy. Was that SPI or what even happened there? It was so fast. And keeping the tech chase going, oh, dude. There's so many layers, right? Like the the tech chasing, the slide offs, man. Yeah, actually really, really, really solid defensive play. And, you know, he's turned it right around. That punish sequence was beautiful. I love to see that both players, you know, they're hitting the slide offs, they're doing the defensive stuff, and then they're ready anyways. They're still extending the punishes. It's just, it's crazy. Oh, the double? Nice dash attack, calling out the dash back. Did I get the edge guard? Yes, I, I think that's the game. That's oh insane. my god. Game one going to RK after being down two stocks with what? um maybe a new Wow, this new is uh, quite the base uh, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like like even the players you can see on camera turning around being like it's like they're like a bomb or something, but looks like we're going back to normal. You were saying Zeus, sorry, I cut you off. No, I mean uh, apparently it's a Raven game, so yeah. Like the CC on the F tilt, good uh, kind of awareness of the percents there, but um our Amarok is moving very, very fast and taking advantage of the counter pick uh, quite effectively so far. Ah, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's the FD effect, right? It's like so hard to get down as floaty sometimes. Really solid tech. This is this is one of those uh, stages where like you really highlight kind of how difficult this matchup can be for Sheik. And the only way it starts to look even is if RK is able to like really convert on tech chases, and that is... It's an understatement to say it's easy at all, but like this is the first opening we've seen so far, and what does he get off of it? <laughs> oh, wow. Full stock. That was beautiful. Damn. Yeah, because that, <laughs> that down air is like a hard call out on Tekken Place, because like if they tech roll, then you, I don't think oh, there's yeah, enough time to really, yeah, to, to get the other options. So uh, that worked out really, really nicely. Yeah, and Actually, it, it's cool to see the creativity for sure. Okay, yeah, um, RK making it down after getting hit up, and oh, I love that dash attack extension calling out the no tech, leading up to an up smash. Fox's dash attack actually just combos so nicely against Sheik, in particular at those, like, high-ish percents, leads into an up smash, it's just so, so nice. 
Yeah, these actually are two characters that both have, I would say, like really, really amazing dash attacks. Obviously, uh, Sheik has been using that to carry uh, low level players for quite a while, but Fox damn. Being able to, uh, quickly <laughs> turn around. Oh, damn. Yeah, just hitting a little, uh, little spice to add to the commentary, but uh. Woo! Now, look at this extension. Oh my god, 75%. This is like why you go to FD, right? Oh, just getting so much. That dash dance! Yo, I. This, this Sheik, man. Oh my god. It's definitely a, a very different style of Sheik, I think, that we're used to seeing. In a good way, though. Oh, going for the, the Duraki. Wow. Amrak. I think you kind of get the vibe that both of these players, like, this often happens when you have two players who are kind of from the same region playing against each other. There's mm. like, it's like a little more fun, you know, it's a little less serious. They're going for kind of more stylish things. Obviously, both of these guys want to win, but you know, throwing out the Draki wall jump, I wouldn't really say that's that optimal in most cases, but a lot of fun to see. Right. No, I, I definitely agree with what you're saying because, like, even if one player has, like, the head to head win record, like, if you're just comfortable against each other, you tend to just play better. Yes. And so the, these two seem pretty comfortable. Um, you know, I, I don't know that they necessarily play a lot, but um, they look, yeah, they look pretty smooth right now. But um, yeah, Amrak taking game two with a strong FD counter pick. Going back to RK, let's see where we're going. Fountain of Dreams game one, which is normally a counter pick a lot of times in that matchup. Okay, Battlefield also very strong for Sheik versus, I mean, Sheik versus anyone really, but in this matchup, probably one of the better stages for Sheik potential, right? Yeah, I would say this is like, one, just, yeah, like you said, like such a good she uh, stage for Sheik. I've never really met a Sheik player that doesn't like Battlefield. Just has <laughs> kind of so many things going for it. And in spite of all that, uh, Amarak not doing so great. Or uh, not Amarak, uh, RK not doing so great off of that first uh, interaction. That is quite loud. <laughs> uh, everyone <laughs> hoping to enjoy the music. I yeah, hope we don't get these. <laughs> but nah. Oh, um, well, actually. I am curious though, Zoo, what are your thoughts on using the tag, I will win ultimate, uh, in place of your real tag? How do you feel about kind of funny tags at a high level event? I mean, I'm all for it. I just don't know what it means. What does I will win ultimate? Like, it's RK an ultimate player? Like, I, MK Leo, I, I think, was on, on the list. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is a pretty stacked ultimate event. <laughs> How are you going to win ultimate? <laughs> That shows the power of the tag, though, man. We're like, what does it mean the whole time? You know, clearly we're a bit confused. Amrak, not looking as confused, man. His approach to the matchup so far has been uh, really, really solid, leveraging a lot of what makes it so difficult. Sheik just not really able to get an opening, even at the high percent. Drops that. That's so big. Yeah, this this is this is a terrible position. As, as Sheik. Okay, finally getting the kill. I mean, we did see like a pretty big comeback from RK game one, but you know, you don't really want to rely on that, obviously. Okay. Finally gets the grab. Okay, doesn't get the tech chase. Oh, another opportunity. <laughs> yeah, crab rave. I love it. All right, yeah, you know, really looking for any openings you can get. Crouch cancel, as you can see, such a big deal. Oh. And play hard, but that was a beautiful F tilt. And he misses his angle there. Suddenly, this is looking a lot more even, like, like the games have been so far. Yeah, and you know what? Something I've noticed is just like, okay, wait, I want to see what happens. Okay, yeah, something I've noticed is just like when RK kind of gets momentum, you know, I, I feel like Amrak probably might want to slow it down because, like, after losing a, a big stock at like uh, a quick pace, I feel like he kind of runs into a bunch of stuff right afterwards. So, um, you know, I want to see him kind of like slow the game down a little bit and take his time. Yeah, I, th I think that makes a lot of sense, you know, just because they have kind of both been so uh, momentum heavy, you know, like it seemed like uh, RK kind of stole the game back from him in the, in the previous. Uh... Oh, wait, did Amrak win the previous game? Now I'm kind of cutting myself. Yes, he did. It was right? Amrak, yeah, on the RFD. But it started to look kind of close. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay, I guess that was just like a forfeit of the stock. Either way, last stock, game three. Uh, I. Is this a best of five? This is a best I think of five, right? Best best five. Hopefully that's correct, but uh, yep. So we have uh, confirmation that it is a best of five, but even still, this kind of win early on gets the momentum for the set going, and like you absolutely want to win this game. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah, if you play each other a lot, you know, you don't really want to be going to that game five. Like, you just want that comfort. Oh, for sure. And, uh, oh, okay, I 
you know, I think RK maybe could have gone down there, but that, that's okay. Man, this scrambles right now. Oh, so much spaghetti. I missed the laser oh. land. But what? No up there, up air. I wonder if he was what? respecting kind of the SDI a lot. Go for it again. I think he. Ah, uh, man, this is actually just so sloppy so far, but. I think that's gonna do it if he's able to cover the edge guard. Effectively, yeah, back there again. One more chance for RK. Great DI there, but. Okay, that's yeah, that's gotta be it. Nice, nice job to Amrak for for, for closing that one out. That was, uh, you know, really really scary when when you and the other player are just like in like uh, just lose complete control of everything. Uh, very 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 tense situation. But um, yeah, yeah, game no. game four back to RK Battlefield. Not a surprise that we're going back to Battlefield, makes a lot of sense. I do like that down tilt, calling in the DI, calling out the DI in. But, you know, this is kind of the game, obviously, you know, he's back against the wall. Of course he has to adapt, but I really am curious to see what kind of changes uh, we see from RK, whether it's just cleaning up the punch game a little bit, or trying to deal with some of the neutral choices that Amrak has been throwing out for him. Big punish so far. I mean, like that four tilt right there, just like calmly waiting, throwing out the four tilt. Uh, oh, that's that's just that's rough. RK definitely had the right idea there and should have gotten the punish for it. Okay, up, up throw. You know, I, I like that option actually because if you di onto the platform, it's like a tech chase. No di. Um, I think maybe at that percent up throw can hit. So um, also pretty good there. Good, uh, good choice. Plus, like you know, in that situation, if you go for the down throw tech chase, Fox is gonna have a lot more room if he techs away, at least on the left side. Whereas the platform automatically gives you a bit kind of less room to account for, and you can rely on your reaction, reaction a little bit more heavily, and we definitely saw that pay off. Ooh, that's definitely not what Amrak wanted. Oh, the down smash too. Oh, but they're gonna get it anyway, so. Wow. Yeah, cleans out the kill. 60% um, difference, not too bad if you're Amrak. With Fox, you know, you can get like one drill, and oh, I was gonna say, get the get the shine into a throw or something like that, tech chase, but uh, it doesn't get the throw fall up there. Okay, here, here we go, one more up air. And this is, yeah, no double jump from RK either. Man, great job from Amrak just keeping RK up the entire time. Yeah, just juggling him really, really effectively and making sure to kind of play patiently in the moments where, you know, RK has access to kind of a bit of a mix up with uh, the jump timing and stuff. And you can call that out really, really effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, RK just starting to get his bearings. Despite all that, like, it feels like Amrak has kind of been in the driver's seat, and yet. It's pretty close, and, and you know, right now, uh, RK is not that far away from uh, closing up this stock. Beautiful Omsa Tech. Once again, Amrak ready for it, though. Yeah, the, the Omsa Tech, you know, pretty much everyone's ready for it. In that situation, it's, it's reactable. I think I think the play these days is really just take the hit. You know, just hope. Yeah, try to go for like a slide off or something else. I, you're, you're absolutely right. We see kind of just, it's just sort of the norm at this point, and especially in that kind of uh, situation. Is it really worth it to kind of just go for it repeatedly? Right. Uh, okay, I think it's, it's RK. I was gonna say RK finally gonna take out the, the stock, but okay, gets it there. It. After multiple failed attempts. Man, so now RK down 93%. But as we saw, it's, it, it could just be one really good chase away from kind of evening it up. So let's see what happens. Oh, gets the shield grab. Let's see. So far, so good. Already, you know, tech in place is always such a hard thing to react to, especially with the threat of shine and, you know, the set on the line if you miss it. But I like the uh, back air, or sorry, up air rather, there, and good light shield to hold on to this pressure, but it's not going to be enough. And I think that should be the stock here. Even Grant having to sell that, like that's not going to end up working out. Yeah, not there at least. So RK needs to dig deep. <laughs> Bring back whatever whatever won him game one on bound. Okay, back or throw. Nice. Whatever's oh. gonna win him against ultimate, right? Like you know, like whatever will win him <laughs> ultimate, he needs to be drawing on right now. So, I mean, it's even now. Like, that's the power of sheik edge guards, I guess. Yeah, that was a great edge guard. Oh, the nice tech there. That actually got him so much. Oh no, grab! That that definitely should have been a grab on the up smash. So unsafe on shield. Nice. Yeah, I was oh. gonna say up air, right? Okay, okay, let's see. Oh! oh my gosh! Oh, and we're going to a game five with such an unfortunate double jump. Like, even 
even the best players still end up getting kind of bonked or booped or whatever you want to call it. Pineapples on Dreamland, Battlefielded, we've all been there. Yeah, not fun. Okay. Well, Amrak not very happy about that. Let's see if Amrak can keep his composure. Game 5 on Stadium, really good stage for Fox again, very similar to FD with some platforms, but... Uh, she can really win it. This is a oh, oh, great recovery there, man. Yeah, I really love that decision to uh, tech down that dash attack. You know, good awareness from the Fox to make uh, tech tricks just that much more difficult. Already, you know, like, we're so used to seeing these zero to deaths from Sheik, but like, I feel like if you are the Sheik player, it, it is so stressful. It feels like you, you miss a tech chase and then just die for it. It's so brutal. Oh yeah, for sure. I think especially on Stadium where, you know, the kind of kills are just going to come that much more easily to Fox and, uh, you know, Running shine, kind of up throw up there. And all of this is just really, really threatening. As you can see. Yep, yep. Yeah, that that one's tough because for Fox, it's just so many things lead into that grab. You got shine, you got drill into shine, you got raw grab, right? So um, yeah, great job from Amrak evening it up. Okay, here here we go. One more up air. Here's the shark. Oh, gets another one. Arky having a hard time coming down. Still stuck on the platform. Like even though light shield is pretty safe, it's it's not like a good position. Right? Oh, absolutely. Tech but. chase time, pivot into four tilt. Nice. I guess we all got those now, huh? Yeah, uh, it actually it is so much more uh, common to see people throwing out high level tech like that. But both of these players, you know, I want to remind you guys that this is losers. If either of these players drop this, like they want this, this is their region. They want to get into, uh, you know, top eight if they can. And. I feel like this set has just been so close, and I said this before, but you don't want to be kind of down to the wire in these moments. You don't want to be kind of nervous. And I imagine both players are starting to feel the nerves a little bit. Oh yeah, no, for sure. You can you can tell in their play, but uh, regardless of the nerves, RK getting another up throw into forward air tech chase. I think that's the second one this game, and like maybe the fourth or something going on the set. So um, maybe we'll see that again. Let's see. Okay, no tech. Man, our RK's uh, tech chases have honestly been pretty good. Like, not really getting reversal that much, getting like pretty good damage on it. I would say guessing, right, maybe like 60-70% of the time, so... Really, really solid stuff. Or reactive, excuse me. Yeah, like it, seem it seems like, well, he actually... It seems like he has a pretty good mix of both, you know? Like, he definitely... His reactions are looking pretty solid, but like we saw with that down air uh, tech chase that he did quite a couple games ago, you know, he's not afraid to mix and reads, he's not afraid to kind of rely on what his sort of intuition or, you know, uh, data collecting, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. is sort of telling him. And it's kind of working. He, he is uh, ahead for now, at least. Uh, but what can he get with his extra credit? Yeah. And that's the thing, you might not have any. Yep. Shine, up throw, up air, no smash down the up air. This is last game, last stop. Oh my god. Ooh, game five. Four air. Starts with a tech chase. Dude, the, already, this the is such good damage. Like, such, such good damage. Already, if you, if you can go for dash attacks, you can kind of disrespect crowd cancel, like what we just saw. And, you exactly. know, 89%. <gasps> is this going to be it? Ah! Uh, I, I think RK wanted the, the ledge there. A little bit I, more momentum. I love the I love the back air walls. Yeah, that RK is putting. It's just so much, so much pressure. That, that really just shows how big of a factor percents are in this match. Obviously, it's a percent-based game, but of course, when you are chic and you can go for trades like that, it can just benefit you so much. And that is the set. RK takes it over Amrak, moving on towards his path towards top eight. He didn't just beat Wiz Rogue. He's beaten a lot more players <laughs> along the way. Good